tonight won't keep you too long tonight 
Uh, but let, let's talk a little bit about what bowl game we might end up in. Do you guys see that SEC championship game? You guys see that? Georgia had it, man. Georgia had it. And they let it go. What's good, guys? What's good, my Hurricanes family? What's going on? Canes versus UTEP in the Pepto Bowl. Feels like it's been forever. Does it not feel like it's been forever? The only difference is we did not stream last night because there was no game today. Pretty crazy, right? I should be... I should be up in North Carolina right now, man. I should be up in North Carolina right now. Walking into the Panther Stadium, man. But yeah, that SEC championship was crazy, of course. Alabama pulling it through. Who would have guessed? Uh, did anybody see the UCF game? Coming back against Memphis. Pretty crazy scenario over there. What's up, Nick? How's it going? We got Eric Birch in the house. What's going on, my man? So let's talk about uh, potential matchups for Miami. Let's get into it a little bit, guys. Yeah, at least I was there last year. Swag this is money. what it take to wear the U on the side of your helmet. Sub Coop Canes 14, Yale 16, KMS, but go Canes, Miners. Miami Dolphins Canes, real quick, guys, before we kick off the stream, if I can get thank yous down in the chat to Miami Dolphins Canes, my man, that is above and beyond. You donated $50 last week. Donating $50 this week, my man, seriously, appreciate that. He is right. Miami is taking on Yale in basketball right now. Uh, that is going on. I'm going to be checking it out when we end this stream, most definitely. And maybe peeping on that Clemson game a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, seriously, Miami Dolphins Canes, my man. Uh, you should be getting your shirt sometime soon. Uh, if I didn't send you a tracking number, let me know, and I'll get that to you. I'll DM that to you, my man. And speaking of basketball, speaking of basketball, before we get any deeper in this, I promise we're going to talk about the bowl predictions. We're going to talk about the bowl predictions. You're right, Glenn. This he is does what rock. it take to wear the U. And I'm Eric Birch coming in. Way to give the game away, Kirby Richt. I mean, smart haha. Eric Burtz, my man. Hey, appreciate that $5 donation. I saw a lot of comments of people saying, darn it, Rick, wait. I mean, smart. Like, there, there were a lot of people throwing jokes out there like that. But, hey, I, I appreciate that donation, Eric. You know it, my man. Speaking of basketball, I told you guys I was going to do this something. This is what remember? it takes. Does anybody remember what I said I was going to do? Your helmet. Don't mention Rutgers. Don't mention Rutgers. I know everybody keeps saying that, man. <laughs> Appreciate that dollar ninety-nine, man. You know it. Does anybody remember what I said I was going to put in here for basketball season? I want to see if anybody remembers. I'll give you one hint. I'll give you one hint. Crip remembers. Crip remembers. And then we're going to talk. We're going to talk football. Don't worry. We're going to talk football. Maybe I can show you guys. Maybe I can show you. Maybe I can show you. I'll move the camera. This is going to get kind of crazy here. All right, here we go. I'm going to pick you guys up. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to pick you up. Check this out. I'm going to show you a sneak peek. Huh? 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 Hey, maybe we'll put one in it. Maybe we'll put one in it. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Money. All right. <laughs> we did it. We did it. That's right. We did it, boys. It's going to be in here. Now, listen, real quick. I'm going to give you a heads up. I'm going to give you a heads up. We're going to put, I am putting a second webcam on top of the gold that's going to be looking down at the rim, and we're going to imitate dunks during the game. If Miami gets this huge dunk, if somebody does a 360 dunk or between their legs, I know it doesn't happen a lot in college, but or just a big two-handed slam, I'm going to imitate that on that hoop, and we're going to have a dunk cam. No joke. Dead serious. Things are going to be lit around here. It's going to be crazy. But okay, okay. Enough about all that, though. But I hope you guys do stick around for the basketball. I think it's going to be fun. So let's talk about potential bowl matchups. Can I paint the, the backboard orange and green? We'll see. We'll see. And speaking of, I also have a bigger whiteboard on the way. 
Uh, you guys can see Nicholas Policastro took it over at $371 last week. Massive top donation. I have a board. That one is two by three foot. I'm getting a four by six foot. So that way I can fit everyone on there. Um, that's only fair. Uh, you guys give back so much to me. So make sure that I can get everyone on the board. So let's talk about these bowl games. I want to get into it. I know you guys, I don't want to keep you long because everybody's watching other games. I'm going to give this you what my wish list and then a realistic list. To where do you on the side of your helmet? Loki Coop look like a NASCAR driver. Like a NASCAR driver. I mean, I'll take the paycheck. Miami Dolphins Canes, you know what I'm saying? I'll take the paycheck. Uh, I mean, I drive every day, all day, so why not get paid to drive, you know what I'm saying? But hey, I appreciate that donation, my man. I already got a lot of people saying Belk Bowl, Belk Bowl. So I wanna see what you guys think. Here's the thing. Here's the tier one bowls uh, that would be available for Miami, in my opinion. This would be a tier one bowl game. The options are the Belk Bowl, and I, yes, I'm, I'm reading off of a list. I can't memorize all this stuff. And, and, and only uh, nobody could read this except for me. It's so scatterbrained. The Belk Bowl, the Pinstripe Bowl, the Sun Bowl. Mm, I do not want that one. Music City Bowl or the Gator Bowl. Those, those would be the Tier 1 bowl games. Uh, Miami also possibly has an option of, if they don't get into one of those tier one games, getting into the Independence Bowl or the Gasparilla Bowl. So let's talk a little bit about them, uh, what the matchups would be in each of them, and then I'll see what you guys think. If anybody wants to call in and let me know what bowl game they want. Clemson already scored. I wouldn't doubt it, Mr. Goodman. I wouldn't doubt it. So number one, the bowl game that I do not want Listen, I do not want this game is the Sun Bowl. Do not want it. We've gotten the Sun Bowl twice, I believe, and we've lost both times. Sun Bowl, for me, that's just got bad juju written all over it. So the Sun Bowl is no. Uh, if we did play in it, it would be maybe someone like Utah. It would be a Pac-12 opponent. Uh, no thanks. No, I'm not interested in the Sun Bowl at all. Um, Pinstripe Bowl would possibly be against a Big Ten opponent, maybe someone like Purdue uh, at 6-6, six and six, something like that. Uh, I feel like Purdue, I know they got that big crazy win against, who was it, Ohio State or something like that. Uh, not interested in that either. Uh, would, wouldn't be much of a game in my opinion. Uh, not interested in that game at all. How's it going, Caleb? Next up, a game, a bowl that I would like to get into. I would not mind the Music City Bowl. Now, keep in mind, the Music City Bowl would probably be against an SEC opponent, Mr. Jimbo Fisher. It might be against Texas A&M, or it could be against Mississippi State. What's up, Finisher Sports? Tyrone says, go Tigers. Hey, my man, good, good luck in the, in the championship game going on right now, man. Music City Bowl, listen, it's not, it's not really fair not really fair. Part of the reason I want the Music City Bowl is because it's in Nashville, which I'm only a couple of hours away from. So that would be pretty lit. I probably wouldn't go, but uh, it would be pretty cool. But uh, Music City Bowl is a possibility against an SEC opponent. The Gator Bowl, uh, as we mentioned, is also a possibility. This is the bowl game I want. I'm going to go ahead and spoil it for you guys. I want the Gator Bowl. That is the bowl I want. And I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why. And I'm going to let you guys speak your mind too. So hang tight for just a minute. I'm going to let you guys call in and speak your mind on this. Coop wants the Gator Bowl. I'm going to give you a couple of reasons. Number one, it would be in Jacksonville, Florida. So we don't technically have it that far to go. That's not that big of a travel to go to the Gator Bowl. Number two, we've never played in this bowl before. There's no bad juju with the Gator Bowl like there is with the Sun Bowl. So that's another bonus. This would be against an, an SEC opponent. And given how this season has went, uh, obviously we played an SEC opponent and lost. We could have another redemption game against an SEC opponent. Now, the options for this game, more than likely for the Gator Bowl, would be Auburn or South Carolina. And both of those, I would love to see. Auburn really didn't meet their expectations for this year. I think they ended up with the same record as Miami, 7-5. and five. 
So that would be a good game. Auburn's a good, tough team, though. So that would be a good one. Uh, the other option could possibly be South Carolina. The Gamecocks. How's it going, Max? Welcome to the stream, man. The Gamecocks in the Gator Bowl. South Carolina is also 7-5. and five. And if you guys remember, the last time we played South Carolina was the Independence Bowl in 2014, and we lost 24-21. to 21. So how nice would that be to get revenge against South Carolina in a slightly bigger bowl and also get revenge on playing an SEC opponent? Hey, Max, we're talking about just... Uh, just the potential bowl games that we could get in. Right now we're talking about the Gator Bowl, which is the one that I want the most. Hey, Goat, how's it going, my man? I saw you in there, my man. Yeah, the Gator Bowl, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and spoil it for you guys right out of the gate. I, I can't help it. How's it going, Shane? The Gator Bowl is the game I want. An SEC opponent, Auburn, or probably South Carolina. I will take either one of those matchups all day. And let me know what you guys think. Does the Gator Bowl sound good to you? South Carolina or Auburn, I'll take either one. I will, I will take another shot at an SEC opponent because here's the thing, I want to let you guys know. If you guys remember, uh, playing in a bigger bowl game is a big deal. Playing a, a, a little bit better opponent, someone that can get you a little more recognition because it's good for the morale of the team. If you remember when we beat a ranked West Virginia, when was that, like two years ago? Going into the next season, we had a lot of momentum. Everybody was hype after that win. Everybody was talking Canes again. So the Gator Bowl would be huge for Miami uh, to face an SEC opponent and get a chance to beat them. I feel you, Mike. That's the thing. It feels really weird. I should be sitting in a seat at the Carolina Panthers Stadium right now. So don't get me wrong. I I'm a hype about talking about a bowl game. I'm just saying I should be sitting at Carolina Stadium right now. That's where that's where I should be seeing. I should be going live right now showing you guys the field. That's what should be happening right now. But it is what it is, man. Uh, how's it going, dude? I wholeheartedly agree an Auburn or South Carolina game would be good for us. Absolutely, Teddy. Yeah, and I don't expect everyone to agree, uh, but I think it would be a good look for us. I think it would be a good matchup. Uh, some other possibilities. Again, we did mention the Independence Bowl. Some possibilities for the Independence Bowl, in my opinion, would be UAB. UAB is 10-3. and three. Uh, That'd be a potential lower opponent, uh, but a potential matchup. Uh, Houston or Cincinnati as well. Houston 8-4, and four, Cincinnati 10-2. and two. Those, in my opinion, would be the matchups for the Independence Bowl. I don't want anything to do with any of these opponents, but that's just what the potential options would be. Now, another one that I would not mind. This is my second one I would not mind. Number one, Coop wants the Gator Bowl. As I said, the Gator Bowl is the bowl. Maybe Music City. So it would be Gator Bowl, Music City, or if we had to take a lower tiered bowl game, I would take the Gasparilla Bowl if it was against USF. What do you guys think about that? I would not mind facing USF. Um, and you, you, you're saying it right now, Jake. In the Bad Boy Mowers Bowl, I think that bowl was the, uh, uh, the Gasparilla. Exactly. Yep. USF also coming in at 7-5. and five. I think that would, could be a good look as well. And that would be in the, the Gasparilla Bowl. So that is my opinion. I know I've went over this probably really quick. Uh, really quick. But I, I'm going to let you guys weigh in on this as well. To where do you on the side of your helmet? There we go. Sorry, my headphones were messing up, Goat. Yeah, I appreciate that dollar donation, my man. If I can get thank yous down in the comment section for Goat. Uh, so, what's up, Raji? How's it going, my man? So, like I said, uh, my, my wish list, who I would like to face, Gator Bowl number one against either South Carolina or Auburn, uh, Music City Bowl against Texas A&M or Mississippi State, again, a matchup of some type of SEC opponent, Thanks uh, for thanking Goat Crip. I appreciate that, man. And then uh, third would be the Gasparilla Bowl against USF, another team that is 7-5. and five. I would not mind that matchup. I wouldn't mind it. Um, the Texas A&M game. Mm, revisiting Mr. Jimbo Fisher. Uh, Texas A&M has played pretty good 
football. So that could be kind of a, a tough game. But I, I would like to see one of those bowl games. Also, a, a team that I would like to see a matchup against, this won't happen. I'm just saying, I want to throw it out there. This won't happen. What do you guys think about playing the Oregon Ducks? Let me know right now. I want to know in the comment section right now what you guys think about playing the Oregon Ducks. Anthony A, my man. I appreciate you stopping in, man. That, that's definitely, that, that's what I'm trying to do here is just show you guys my passion for the Canes and just share the love with my family, man. Yeah, what do you guys think about if we played Oregon? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But I just want to know what you guys think. And then we'll get into a couple of phone calls if you guys want. What do you guys think about playing Oregon? Because I think that would be a, a pretty crazy matchup. What, what was Oregon? Does anybody know what Oregon's record was? This is what it takes. Let me see what Oregon's to where record you was. On the side of your helmet. Coop, you hear from Coach Manny. <laughs> you hear from Coach Manny. I have not, Rod G. I have not heard from Coach Manny or Rick uh, in a hot minute, my man, <laughs> since last week. I appreciate that $5 donation. If I can get thank yous uh, for Rod G down in the chat. You believe 7-5 and five or 6-6? Six and six. Let me check. Is Oregon, is Oregon even bowl el eligible? Let me double check that. I think they are. Okay, Oregon is eight and four. Oregon is eight and four. So that would be a pretty crazy matchup. I was actually wanting to see maybe someone like USC, uh, but they're not bowl eligible. That's why on the thumbnail, USC is on my wish list because they're not bowl eligible. But it would be an interesting matchup. And that's kind of the thing uh, for the school. What would benefit Miami the most, hands down, is the Gator Bowl. The Gator Bowl would benefit Miami the most. Uh, that, that keeps it in Florida. Uh, that puts us against uh, an SEC opponent, a redemption against an SEC team. The Gator Bowl is the bowl we want, in my opinion. That, that's the bowl we should, should shoot for. That's what I think. Now, either way... Uh, a win is a win. That's true, Trevor. It could. It could. Either way, a win is a win. I would like to get a a, a big opponent that would give us some. Yeah, and duck uniforms would be epic. Yeah, that's one thing Oregon has going for them. So the big thing is either way, we're going to find out. I'm pretty sure tomorrow. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the bowl game should be put together tomorrow. Uh, they will be announced on ESPN between noon and 4 o'clock tomorrow. So we'll find out then, and I will either post a video or go live talking about who we actually get. But my prediction, who I want is the Gator Bowl uh, against, again, Auburn or South Carolina. I think we get the Gasparilla Bowl. I think we get the Gasparilla Bowl. That's the one that I think we get. That's my prediction. But uh, we'll find out tomorrow, and then I'll either go live or make a video about it. So if you guys want, I wouldn't mind taking phone calls from you guys. Uh, so you can tell me what bowl game you would like Miami to play in or what game you think they're going to play in. D says, I live in Jacks. I'm down with the Gator Bowl, but they don't want Miami. They want out-of-state money. I, I could see that. Sometimes it's about money. Uh, it is. Sometimes it's about, it's about this right here. You got it, D. The gas of what bowl? Yeah, the bad boy mowers Gasparilla Bowl. Now, that's a mouthful, isn't it? We got Mark Rick stopping by saying, what's up, Coop? How's it going? Rob the Goat 23 says, I love your vids. Appreciate that, my man. Uh, I'm just working on getting the phone line opened up. If you guys want to call in the number now I don't, I don't have the phone line open just yet uh, it's not open yet but this number right here 865-229-4131 if you sometimes it's always about the money you got it Eric. whatever brings in the money you got it um if you want to call in and tell me what bowl game you would like to see miami play in uh, the phone line will be open in just a moment i know this is a little bit slower stream and i want to let you guys know that i appreciate everyone uh, showing up for this because i know there's a lot of championship games on today 
Uh, so, give me just a moment. I'll get everything open. Hey, how's it going, my man? Hey, give me just a second. I have I have the phone muted. Let me get this other tab open, and then uh, I'll I'll put you in it. Hang on, just a moment, because nobody can hear you just yet. So let me get this other tab open. Let's see. And real quick, I'll I'll address this uh, uh, donation real quick before I bring you on right here. Uh, for Mark Rick, nineteen ninety nine says, "Love you guys." If I can get thank yous uh, for Mark Rick down in the chat, as always. Appreciate the love, my man. All right, so let me bring this one up, and I'll have you on, man. Let's see. All right. Here we go. All right. We got you on. How's it going, my man? You ready to talk about this bowl game a little bit? Yep. All right. Tell me, uh, tell me either who you want Miami to play in the bowl game or who you think we're actually going to get. Just what, whatever you want to do. So the AD, athletic director for Miami, said we're going to get a tier one bowl game, which you said is Pac Slayer, Pinstripe, Belk Bowl, and then the Russell Athletic Bowl, I think, mm -hmm. or Camping World. I think it's one of them. Um, there, yeah. Realistically, I think we either get Gator Bowl or Tax Slayer Bowl. If we don't get that, then Gasparilla. Yep, I think that's kind of... I know kinda... for sure we are not getting Fun Bowl. Yeah, I, I hope not. There's there's a, a lot of bad vibes from, from that one. Yeah, uh, I'm but... not going to relive that again. Yeah. I feel like that the, the Gasparilla Bowl is kind of the fallback. Like, if, if nothing else works out, that's yeah. probably what, what they would stick us with uh, either way. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Do you know what type of opponent? I'll have to look into it. Um, let's see. Which one was I going to ask about? We said the Gator Bowl and which one? The Tax Slayer Bowl? Yeah, Tax Slayer is against an SEC school. It is an SEC as well. Okay, yep, that's what I was wondering. Hmm. So, yeah, that could be uh, interesting. Um, yeah, I know but, for sure if we don't get anything else, that Shreveport Bowl, the Independence Bowl, I've already been to that one again, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. That had been the worst bowl atmosphere I've ever experienced in my life. Yeah. That was bad. No Wh fans were there. It was soaking rain. They don't want to repeat of that. Yeah. Uh, w which one would you prefer to get in? Uh, if they had a choice, if they came to you and said, which game, is, which game, bowl game is Miami going to play? Now, obviously a realistic one here, but uh, w w which one would you want? I mean... I'm in South Florida, so either Gasparilla or Gator Bowl. Because yeah. I don't want to go to a bowl game on New Year's. And then Gasparilla yeah. is like, shoot, four-hour drive. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I, I think at the end of the day, it's going to end up being the Gasparilla Bowl. Just I don't know what it mm -hmm. is. I just have a feeling. Uh, but I, I, like I said, I would prefer the Gator Bowl. I think that I think that would be a good look for Miami. Yeah. And one of them was the Pinstripe Bowl. Yep. I, do you know where that bowl game is, Coop? That's in Yankee Stadium in New York. Uh, I don't think any Canes fans want to see like negative twenty nope, degree nope. weather. That's not really our thing. Count me count me out for that one. Uh, yeah, definitely not interested in that. And against a Big Ten opponent, uh, somebody like Purdue at yeah. six and six is just really not. It's not going to pull in the TV ratings, in my opinion. But. Yeah, I mean, the last time we played against snow, you know how you know how that went. Oh uh, so. yeah, yep. Uh, I. I, I would prefer to stick to the the warmer climate, something a, a little further down south. Yeah. Keep keep it. Yeah, I think in the great right. state of Florida, you know. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I think most likely we're gonna get a bowl game in Florida. I don't think Blake James, our athletic director, he won't pick freaking New York or Antarctica for that matter. Yeah. But um, yeah, he'll probably stay in Florida. Yeah, and like I said, I, I wouldn't mind the Music City Bowl, but that's me being a little biased because I live in Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I can no, no, drive no, to Gas Nashville Gas and go to that one. pretty biased. Yeah. So you know, either one of those, you know, I, th I think would, would be nice. But, hey, I, I mm -hmm. wanted to let you know, I know we're calling to talk about the uh, bowl games, but, you know, seriously, man, I appreciate the, the donation. You, you don't have to do that. I hope you know that. <laughs> but uh, No, it's fun. It's fun. But I, I really I do mind. appreciate it. And I, I don't think I've sent you tracking for your shirt yet. So message me again. I, I have it. I just haven't sent it to you. Uh, so message okay. me after the stream, and I'll send you the tracking number for it. Yeah. And just real quick, the Kansas just went into half against Yale. We have a 10-point lead, 49-39. 49-39 Kansas? Yeah, we're not playing well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, I was really that, – that game uh, – was, it was not too long yeah. ago, a couple of days ago, when we dropped that game mm -hmm. at home, man. That was rough. 
Uh, yeah, I, let's not mention the R word. I was not expecting that. I'm not going to lie. I, I did not expect that at yeah, all. Yeah, same. Yeah, I wasn't very happy after the game. But um, are we going to live stream for the basketball games or no? We are. Yep, I am. Uh, basically, I'm just getting everything set up for it. I want to get that bigger board in here. You saw the basketball goal already where we're going to imitate the dunks. I'm going to get the, the dunk cam mounted up on the goal. And then... I don't know if I'm going to do any before the bowl game. I'm going to be honest. It may be January before they start. I don't know yet. Um, but we, okay, they, and, um, they are yeah. going to be soon. If you though. need, yeah. If you need like my Xfinity account for like watching games online, I can give it to you, no problem. I got you. Sounds good. Yeah, hopefully I can find links for them or uh, my, my cheapo butt gets cable at some point or something so, <laughs> I, so I can watch, watch them anyways. But definitely the basketball stuff, I promise, is coming soon because – I keep telling everybody, I promise it won't slow down football content. I've got, I promise you, if I had it right here, I would show you guys. I I have mm -hmm. an entire notebook full of football video ideas. I have some really cool ones coming up, but I do want to throw basketball in there in between because it'll attract some some new subscribers and bring new people into the family, I think, that maybe don't like football but just like basketball. Yeah. I, um. Just one final note, though. Yeah. Do you really think that Notre Dame deserves the playoff or no? Uh, No. I, I realize that <laughs> I know they've won their games, uh, blah, blah, blah. I, I know, I know, I know, but no, no, I don't. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to say no, yeah. Notre Dame just does, doesn't have my respect. I mean, honestly, at this point, though, I'm going to be real. At this point, put them in there so they can get that booty spanked by somebody like Alabama or something, and we can get it out of the way and move on at this point. Yep. Yep. So. All right. I'll wait to get some other callers. I'll probably Damn. drop a couple more donos. Besides that, good. I'll be out. You, you got to do that, man. But hey, I, I really do appreciate it. And I, I, thanks for calling in, man. All right. All right. Bye bye. You. See you, man. Bye. All right. Let's hop right into the next one. Uh, Irish are going to get hammered. It, I, you're right, man. You're right, man. All right. Let's see who we got on the phone. All right. Looks like we got 603 on the phone. Who do we have on the line? ZJ13 Gold. What's going on, my man? Uh, who do you think Miami is going to play in a bowl game? Um, I don't really know. I just want to talk about college football in general. I just. I got you. Yeah, because you uh, what what? Who's your team again? Boston College, and I, I'm guessing they're playing in the Sun Bowl against Cal, probably. Against Cal, yeah. That that would be an interesting matchup for them, uh, because Cal's always. They're kind of fifty-fifty. One minute they're good, next game they suck. So it just it just kind of depends. But yeah, you guys have. Because I'm uh... watching. Go ahead. This is what it I'm takes. currently watching the Big Ten Championship on my um on 4K television. Go Canes, go But my minus. cable's not 4K, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't work out too good if you if uh, not broadcasting in 4K. Yeah, who who's that matchup against? Is that Ohio State? Ohio State versus Northwestern, I think. Gotcha. What can you give us a score update real quick? Is it I, I don't seven have seven nothing Ohio State in the lead. Seven nothing Ohio State, yeah. Ohio State's probably gonna handle business, just to be honest. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's one of those things. Uh, now that we we've, we've already played Boston College and the, the regular season is over. Uh good luck to you guys in the bowl game. Um because then it, it's a good look for uh, ACC to win some bowl games either way. Uh, we're, we're enemies on yeah. the field during the game, but otherwise, you know, I want yeah. the ACC to do well and, and represent, you know, in the bowl games and stuff. So good luck to you guys in whatever bowl game you get. Uh, hopefully if you get Cal, uh, you should be able to take care of business, I think. Yeah. Um, uh, can I shout on my YouTube channel? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, man. DJ 13 go please subscribe. I posted a new NBA, NBA Live mobile video earlier today. Sounds good. Yeah, definitely check him out. So it's just the same as your username, right, man? Yeah, just go into the comment section and click on my um you click on my profile. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, definitely check him out, guys. If he's uploading basketball videos. I'll I'll check it out too, my man. But uh, I, I appreciate yeah, you calling in. And uh, like I said, good good luck to Boston College uh, in their bowl yeah. game. Ho hopefully they'll take care of business. I was actually really hoping that we would play you guys in a bowl game this year. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to have a uh, another shot at uh, BC, but unfortunately, we're not going to get that. But um, like I said, I know. Good, good luck to you guys, man, and I, I really think you guys will be fine. And good luck to you guys, too. Yep, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate your donation earlier, and you're always hanging out in my yeah. streams and stuff, so I greatly appreciate it. I actually discovered you when I was looking for a Boston College live stream because I don't have ESPN. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. That's good to hear. Yeah, we're trying to, like I said, we're all one big happy college football family. So when it comes game time and, and we're playing, uh, playing you, then it's, you know, then it's, we're going head to head. But otherwise, I mean, we're all family. We all just like college football. So that, that's awesome to hear. I'm glad you found me. Yeah. Go, yo, goodbye, Coop. Yep. Have a good one, man. Have a good night. See ya. All right. See ya. Bye-bye. Yeah, Ray Ray says, I hope we play USF. I'm about 20 minutes away. Yeah, yeah. USF would be uh, a, a good game. I think that would be a good game. So if anybody else wants to call in, uh, Penguin Man, yeah, Penguin Man is representing Pitt. Uh, is that still? Uh, let me pull up that that game real quick. I'm just pulling it up. It's all good, Goat. It's all good, man. Yep, Clemson up 14 to nothing against Pitt. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Penguin. Man, I, I, I wish you luck, but I, I'm just being honest. I, I, I don't know who's going to take down Clemson at this point in the season other than maybe Alabama. Just being honest. Um, that, that, that's my opinion. But if anybody else wants to call in, and uh, let me know what game, what bowl game you would like for Miami to play in. Uh, let me know. The phone number is 865-229, maybe if I can point to it, 4131. And uh, we could talk about who you think Miami will play or who you want them to play. The phone is not ringing off the hook this time. So if you've been trying to get in, here is your opportunity to call in. Now, we'll keep them short because I know it's, it's championship weekend. Kind of depressing for us Miami Hurricanes fans, but uh, of course we're going to just watch uh, the games in general because we all like college football. Did I see the SEC title game? I did, Chris. I watched it. Literally, I went live five minutes after because I, I was sitting here at the computer watching it. So yeah, I did watch it. Uh, I had Alabama winning no matter how bad it looked. I mean, just honestly. Alabama is just one of those teams, man that I don't know how to explain it. Even when everything looks like it's going wrong, they still kind of have their crap together. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, even when it looks like Alabama, it's just there's no way. They always feel like they're going to win. They always know that they can win. So I thought Georgia had a pretty good shot. Uh, but, I, oh, yeah, and Glenn. Glenn, you are a big Georgia fan. Uh, how do you feel about uh, the game, man? I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys. I, I'm going to be refreshing YouTube after my stream looking for the Uncle Lou video. I'm going to be refreshing my stream looking for the Uncle Lou video. What's up, Matthew? How's it going, man? I will be refreshing my stream looking for that Uncle Lou video because he talks some smack at halftime. And y'all know that Uncle Lou's videos are pretty intense. And with Alabama coming back and winning that game, whoo! Any word on who is replacing Paul Johnson at Tech? Not yet. No, uh, not yet. What's up, Johnny Brown? Yeah, for those of you who do not know, uh, after their last game, uh, the Georgia Tech head coach is retiring. So here's a question. Here's the big question. Does Georgia Tech continue to run that crazy triple option offense? Or when someone else gets in there, do they change it up? That would be pretty crazy to see if, if Georgia Tech just runs an entirely different offense once he's gone. That would be crazy. Coop, you saw the Uncle Lou post video. He's lost for words. He already uploaded it. Man, I'm going to have to watch it after this. I will be watching it after this. If Glenn, I hate it because it, it feels like 
Right, it seems like Georgia looks so good, so good throughout the regular season, and then they always choke at the end. What's up with that? <laughs> Let me pull up Uncle Lou. You, you don't have to do that, Miami Dolphins Canes. You don't have to do that, man. Uncle Lou's video says, Georgia loses to Jalen friggin' Hurts in Alabama again. <laughs> Oh, man. Poor Uncle Lou, man. Poor Uncle Lou. He's... Oh, man. You think Georgia Tech will talk to Manny? I don't, actually. I, I think at least for one more season, Manny Diaz is staying put. One more season, at least. At least. I'm not, I don't, I'm not even considering it. I don't even think it's an option that Manny leaves uh, during the offseason. I don't, I don't think so. I really don't. What's up? How's it going? Good. Um, I forgot to mention, to last yeah. game, I actually sat next to Manny Diaz's um, stepmom. He said Manny had no intention of going anywhere. Nice. Hey, that, I appreciate inside information like that, my man. And that, that, that's what I, I guess you were calling in because you just heard me say that. Yeah, I, I don't think yeah. that there's any chance. He's, he's got roots and stuff in Miami. And I know that money talks. It does. But, I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, he loves Miami. And I think that the only thing that would push him out is if no changes are made and the offense still sucks super bad and his defense is bailing him out constantly because it would get frustrating. But overall, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate the, the call on that, and that's good to hear because uh, we need him most definitely. Yeah, because he's from a, um, an area around here. I don't know if you guys like in the chat know it's called Hialeah. It's mm -hmm. about 30 minutes from the stadium. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. He yeah. loves it here apparently. That's, that, that, that's good to know. That's yeah. super that's all good I to hear. I, I appreciate you calling in to let us know, man. Yeah, all right. See you, all right, see you man. Yeah, that if anything, Manny Diaz would like to take over the head coach position at Miami. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even necessarily saying if he's the right guy for the job or not. But yeah, and Matthew. Matthew says can't wait to start a new season with Kosi though. Man, I'm telling you, there is going to be so much talk in the off season on this channel. Listen, so much talk. There's going to be so much. And I hope you guys stick around for it because I've got a lot of really cool stuff planned and there's going to be a lot of stuff to talk about because there's going to be some things happening. Uh, Julian says, Coop, how did you like that no tight end spread offense look against Penn? I loved it. Um, I, I don't want to make any bold statements here. I don't want to make any bold statements just yet. It's too early. We've not even played in the bowl game yet, but I'm just going to say I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> Trevor says, sorry, man, but it's going to be Jaron. Jaron will put up a fight for that starting position over Nikosi Perry. Just honestly, he will he will put up a fight for that. Let me see. I'm going to pull up. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, pull up the Uncle Lou video so I have it up uh, whenever this is over. Let's see. Uh, and what do I think about UNC hiring Mac Brown? I don't know. That was a, a move that I did not see coming. I'm not going to lie. I did not see that hire coming. So I don't really know how I feel about it yet. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't see that coming. Question for you, Coop. Do you think Pitt was playing hard against the Canes? I think they were sleeping on the Canes a little bit. I think they were sleeping on the Canes a little bit. Uh, and I, that's what I said in the preview video. Pitt's going to get caught sleeping because you know either way you're playing Clemson the week after us. Even No matter win or loss against the Canes, you know you got Clemson. You 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 see them over there. You see them over there taunting you. And you know they're coming. And I think Pitt got caught sleeping on Miami a little bit. But do I think they're good enough to beat uh, Clemson? I'm sorry. Penguin, uh, not even close. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the Clemson Pitt game, forty-five to seven, forty-five or fifty-two to seven. That's kind of my ballpark for the Clemson Pitt game. I don't know about you guys. 
Mac Brown is senile. <laughs> He's an interesting character. Uh, Jaron Ricade will take over next year. I don't think there's any chance that that Weldon starts. Uh, He's just not he's just not that next level quarterback in my opinion. I know we've not seen a ton from him, but I've watched some practice footage from him and a couple of other videos. I I don't think that Cade Weldon's the guy. Uh, if anything, I think it would be Jaron. Uh question Coop for the preseason ACC championship odds, you think they'll be picking Miami again for the coastal? That's tough to answer right now, but I actually could see that. Yes, I know that we had a disappointing season, but I could see them still rolling with Miami just due to the talent and depending on the changes uh, that go on. I, I do think that they could uh, pick pick Miami favorite in the Coastal again because let's be real, the Coastal overall is not very good. So... It's kind of just uh, put the names in a hat and pick one out, you know. Poop will Miami beat Florida? It's real early to be talking about that, the man of sports. But uh, you know, you know who I'm going to be picking. I don't even have to say. It. You know who I'm going to be picking. I might be there too. Uh, would you rather play USC or Miami? You talking Miami, Ohio? Or because we can't really play ourselves. At least FSU is not going bowling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's petition to bring back the OG turnover chain. I wasn't a big fan of the uh, the IBIS turnover chain. Oh, USC or Oregon? I would I would like to play Oregon so bad. I don't know why. I can't get it out of my system. I want I want it, I want to see Miami take on Oregon. I don't know why. I just do. Yep, Oregon is eight and four. Yep. If a new OC is hired, we would be considered winning the Coastal. Yeah, there, there's a lot of, of reasons uh, for them to pick us to win the Coastal again. I know it sounds crazy, but there are a lot of reasons already for them to uh, pick us to win the co Coastal. Can I two-handed dunk my new rim? <laughs> We're going to see, Glenn. We're going to see. I hope you come around for the basketball streams, Glenn. We could use you in the basketball streams, This man. is what it takes to where to you. Miami sorry, Dolphins, Canes. We play Central Mish next season. Go Chippewas. Go Chippewas. <laughs> hey, my man. You know, I appreciate it, bro. But yeah, for those that, that just stopped in, I already showed everybody earlier, but you might be new here. I promised you guys I was going to put a basketball goal in here for basketball season, and we're, we're going to stream some of the games and stuff. I want to show you guys, anybody who's new here, a lot of you guys already saw it. There it is. There she is, guys. Took me, guys, listen. Took me, took me like two hours to build that flipping thing. So it's going to get used, trust me. I'm going to dunk on it. I'm going to dunk on it. It took me like two hours to build that thing in this room. So we're going to dunk on it. But it's, it's going to be fun. Uh, I know that you guys are wanting to check out all the other championship games and stuff uh, around the country right now. So... We'll probably honestly wrap it up unless there's anything else that you guys want to talk about. Just as kind of some final closing statements. Uh, again, I want to see the Gator Bowl. I want to see the Gator Bowl uh, in Jacksonville playing Auburn or South Carolina. That's my pick, but I think that we'll probably get the Gasparilla Bowl against USF. Real talk, though, I hope FSU and Miami get back to national contention. I want it to come down to FSU, Miami for the Natty, not Alabama, Clemson. Absolutely, Chris. Very well said, my man. Uh, I, I Again, I we all poke fun at FSU uh, as Miami fans, but it's, it's it makes the rivalry better when FSU is good. I miss the days when the winner of the Miami-FSU game determined uh, – ACC it actually determined stuff, you know, national championship stuff, ACC stuff. It actually determined something, you know, it meant something, not just that it was a rivalry game. So, I mean, I, that's, yeah, we'd love to see them back on top. Just honestly, I'm going to talk smack uh, about them, obviously, because they're rivals, but it would be good for FSU to get back on top again. It really would.
Uh, it would be good for Miami. I, like I always say around here. I want to play the this best. Is what it takes. The only way we're going to be the best is if we beat to the best. You. That's real talk. I'm sorry, your helmet. Are you coming to Orlando for the Florida Miami game? CMD reacts coming through with a 2.99 donation. If I can get thank yous down in the chat uh, for CMD reacts, are you coming to Orlando for the Florida Miami game? The plan right now is yes. CMD reacts. The plan right now is I will be in Orlando for the Miami versus Gators matchup. That is the plan. I don't know if it's going to happen, but as of right now, that's the plan that I'll be there. So yeah, thank, thank you so much for that. Glenn, yes, UCF came back and beat Memphis. They did. I'll get, I can't remember what the final score was. UCF won 56 to 41. That's right, Glenn, 56 to 41. Put UCF in there too. Put them in there. See, I know that they lost their starting quarterback, but put them in there. Let let UCF and Notre Dame play, man. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see UCF and Notre Dame play. I bet UCF would expose Notre Dame. Hmm? Without their starting quarterback. I bet they would expose Notre Dame. What do y'all think? <laughs> I know I sound crazy, but... <laughs> oh man you guys think i'm insane do you think that in 2014 now golden purposely lost six games so he could end the bowl streak to put something good on his name i don't know trevor i feel like most coaches would never ever want to lose on purpose ever no matter what the circumstances but that's just my opinion so will game day be at miami versus florida next year I don't know because it's probably going to be at the Miami Alabama game in 2020. So I don't know if they this will do that. This is what it take. I think they're looking to ahead you. to the Bama matchup. I'm sorry, your helmet. I live in Orlando. Hope to see you there. Go Canes. Or maybe they could do both. You know, both years, both opening games. CMD reacts with another 299. I appreciate that donation. I'll have to get you up on the board, my man. Says that he lives in Orlando. Uh, hope to see you there. Go Canes. Definitely, definitely, man. I'm going to try. I am going to try to make it. I'm going to try my best. Um, but like I said, I appreciate... Uh, can I dunk over Lori on your new rim? We're going to find out, Glenn. I'm going to do some crazy stuff with this basketball goal. We're going to do some challenges. I might do some blind, blindfolded dunking or... Uh, I, I don't know, some three-point contests. I'm, we're going to do something. We're, we're going to have to... We're going to do something crazy. So, put... put Pitt is playing ball now. What are we talking about over here? Let's refresh. 14-3 still, so, but I, which I'm not seeing the game. So, uh, But I'm going to watch the Clemson game uh, when this stream is over. And like I said, I know that Coop 360 through the legs done. I will most definitely attempt that, Trevor. I will attempt that. Uh, but like I said, we're all going to find out tomorrow. Look for a video on that. And I have something, a special video coming this week. So stay tuned for that. I have a special video coming this week uh it's it's a very unique video i think you guys are gonna like it i will check out the channel goat uh, i'll check it out as soon as this is over as soon as the stream's over i'll go right over and i'll i'll sub to it i'll sub to it so yeah i do like the battle versus vt as well chris uh, again it's i want everyone we play to be at their best 100 percent. people knock me a lot for that i, I get a lot of hate for that but I want everyone we play to be at their best because if we're going to be the best, we got to beat the best. Plain and simple. Like I said, that's real talk. My mom's this in the chat. She take. said he's good at basketball. To Man, y'all, I used to play basketball 24-7. Hear me out. Try out a stream versus Penn on Tuesday. Miami Dolphins Canes with another $1.99 donation, man. The man who has a permanent spot on the board he says hear me out try the stream versus pin on tuesday we'll see miami dolphins canes i got a couple things i got to get set up because i'm going to get that second cam mounted on the basketball goal um, that way we have the dunk cam and all that i want it to be legit have a good night trevor i appreciate you hanging out uh, but like i said everybody's kind of watching other games around the country right now hey, i appreciate you subbing to goats channel crip i appreciate that everybody just showing everybody love uh, but a uh, crazy day in college football today. I appreciate that, Glenn. I appreciate that. 
But uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what. Do I believe UCF can beat Miami? I think it would be a tough game. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that UCF, even though they came through the comeback against Memphis today, I still think them being down their starting quarterback does hurt them. Ooh, that'd be a tough game, Chris. That'd be it. Would it would be a tough game? I I I can't. I can't pick one or the other right now. I don't know for sure. And I hate being that middle guy where I don't tell you 100% one way or the other. But I don't know. I know that it would be a battle. I know that it would be a battle 100%. But again, uh, I will send you the tracking number, Miami Dolphins Canes. I'll send it right after the stream. But uh, don't I have another song to download? Not yet, Glenn, but coming soon. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm about to do. I'm about to go watch... Uncle Lou's video. Uh, check him out. I, this is going to be entertaining that with Georgia losing. Uh, and then I'm going to watch this Clemson Pitt game. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, one last question for Coop. Uh, who do you like better, Cameron Davis or Lorenzo Lingard as a future back? JP, I can't pick. I can't pick between the two, man. Uh, Cameron, Cameron Davis is just an all around good physical hard runner but also has the speed and then Lingard has that Olympic type speed so I mean it's the perfect one-two punch in my opinion I think that Cameron Davis shoulders the load of the carries and then you have Lingard coming up as the two guy that's that's what I think hey Coop I have a hundred dollar donation in the works if you stream Tuesday you don't have to do that Miami Dolphins games you're always going above and beyond, man. We, we are going to try basketball soon, though. We are. And, Rod G, I do keep meaning to get you that. I have your email. I need to get in contact with you. I will do it. I promise. I promise. You're, you're a big donator and contributor to the channel. You gave me the idea for it, so I've got to get with you. I will get with you, my man. Just keep bugging me until I do it. I will get with you. Yeah, I feel you, Chris. Yeah, there, there's a lot. Uh, very civil, actually. I'm surprised, Glenn. I, I'm surprised. But like I said, guys, just to end the video, my prediction for tomorrow, we get the Gasparilla Bowl against someone maybe like USF, but I want the Gator Bowl or Music City Bowl. So we'll see. Stay tuned for the video tomorrow on that. I appreciate everybody hanging out tonight. Just a quick one-hour stream talking about the bowl games. I appreciate the donations tonight. Uh, it, all we're doing is just talking about some bowl games. And uh, you guys still donating. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, Miami Dolphins Canes coming through big as always Eric Birch um, ZJ13 Goat Rod G Mark Rick uh, and CMD Reacts thank you guys so much for the donations tonight and Glenn you wouldn't believe it but you get mentioned all the time Glenn every time my family and I sit down for dinner we all say I wonder how Glenn is or did you see when Glenn said this or we talk about you all the time Glenn you're part of the family man so appreciate you guys so much. Like I said, listen, big things coming soon. I've already showed y'all. Listen, mm, 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 mm. big things coming soon. Big things coming soon on this channel. Trust me. So I hope you guys stick around there. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I know it's going to be a couple of weeks before Miami plays in a bowl game. You're going to see me way before then. You guys are going to see me possibly tomorrow. So you guys are going to see me soon. We're not going anywhere. Appreciate all the love you guys show me. Just enjoy the rest of your weekend. Go watch the Clemson game or go watch the Ohio State game. Just just watch, watch some college football and just enjoy it. Uh, obviously, uh, it's a letdown because we didn't get to play in one of these big-time games, and we feel like we should. But it is what it is. So just enjoy the rest of your Saturday, guys. Love my Hurricanes family. Uh, I'm just, I'm rambling at this point. So, uh, appreciate all the love you guys show me day in and day out. Love my Hurricanes family. I'm part of your Saturday nights now. I appreciate that, Raji. And I said, keep bugging me. I'm going to get that to you, Raji. I just got to respond to your email. So, love my Hurricanes family, guys. It's all about this you. You know it. I want to see some music and chat as this closes out. I appreciate you guys. Have a good night. Love my Hurricanes family.
you just missed this Aztec King. We're closing out, my man, but I do appreciate you stopping by.